it started off, we, uh, we knew we had something good with Soul's End, and uh, we wanted to get something more with some attitude and some punch that really defined who we were. So we decided to go with Drowning Fish Studios, and we knew Jason, and uh, we knew he would make it right, so that's where we decided to go. Taking a break. All these, all these clowns, all these clown shoes. Laffy's drums on this album are phenomenal. Uh, he, you know, we we had we had some. Uh, I mean, everyone in this band had obstacles to face. Uh, you know, while we were recording, and Laffy faced some of the biggest ones. I mean, just because the drums are such a big part of it, and he got through it, and he did an awesome job. It, it shows on the CD. It's fucking challenging, man. It was a bitch. I wanted to put like everything I had into it, and you know, ah, oh, that's fucking gross, dude. You guys don't even know what I just saw, man. Jesus, man. I, I lost, I lost my track of thought. I, I'm sorry. Process uh, for me was a real pleasant experience. Uh, Jason worked hard on my guitar tones. Uh, we went through Hughes and Kettner's, went through Orange Heads. Uh, we we did we mixed and matched. We really got a nice wall of sound for the CD, and I think he did a really good job on uh, on, on getting that getting that done. They were very dedicated to making everything sound as best as possible. So, I had a great experience at Drowning Fish. Go to Drowning Fish, record there, man. Dude, there's friggin', there's like eight tunes in this. Or wait, no, there's four. There's four tunes in it. <laughs> Dude, this little bitch is 600 bucks. Man. It's not, it's, again, it's not a little, they, they call it the Tiny Terror, it's, it's like a joke. Dude, they're face terror? Their bass turret puts out 500 watts. Wow. It's this big. What? 500. I heard it. Ooh. I heard it. It sounds ridiculously powerful. <laughs>
us at fist fights before this album's finished, man. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> All right, I, th- I think we've resolved yeah. that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> we had some uh, some tough moments in the studio, as many bands do. You know, you, you watch it on TV, you see these bands bicker, and you're like, oh, come on, you guys are millionaires, you know. But I mean, of course, we're not in that position. Uh, you know, how come they can't get along? I'll tell you what, it's it's a lot like being in a relationship, and um, you know, tensions go high and and uh, you know go through the roof sometimes. Ah! <laughs> it was bullshit. It was all bullshit. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> We're, there were no fist fights per se, but we we had we had it out a few days, and uh, uh, but it's it, it gives the album character. You know, you go in there the next day and you want to just you know wreck it. You know, cause you're you're angry. You know, and um, you know it's all part of the experience. So. <laughs> I'm telling you, that one was off. Okay. That one's off. Whether the other one's on or not, that one's off. Right? In there? No. <coughs> oh, here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. hell, there it is. Hello, we're big. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in there? Yeah. Alright, yep. yeah, right, cool. Yep. Here we go.
him make out with right. my face. So, <laughs> I never track that. one is the 420, is a oh. MD-421 facing the center Wolf. of one of the cones. The Wolf track knows. two is the Trace DI. <sighs> track three is the Tone Bone DI. <laughs> and track four is the Sub Kick mic. And the Sub Kick mic sounds in fucking insane. His bass... Makes sense. All the bottom end that your face doesn't have, and it's all gra all growl and no bottom end. Yeah, right. Not on this setup. Jesus Christ, dude! It sounds He's really fucking good, Jay's dude. Bass tone. In fact, I should take pictures of everything. And um, and Jay said you can use his cab and bass. <laughs> no, we haven't. That's what Jason's doing to Jay's bass tone. It was, it was fun, man. I mean, it took a lot of months, and, you know, we really uh, put our nose against the grindstone with everything, and uh, tried to make everything sound as perfect as possible, which was very frustrating at times, because, I mean, to play a part, you don't get it right. You gotta do it over, and then, it was, you know, it was tough. Everybody's watching you doing what you're doing and stuff, and, but, uh, it was... It's rewarding. I mean, you put all that time in, and then you listen to the album, and it it's it's great. I mean, I hope you enjoy it. All right, here we go. Bass solo, take one. Solo. That fucking solo. <laughs> That's a bass rap, man. <laughs> it's not a picture, dude. It's a video. Holy shit! <laughs> um, what do I think about Drowning Fish? I had a great experience there. I mean, uh, I actually became, you know, closer of friends with both of them, both Jason and CJ, from being there so often. And, I mean, they were very accommodating to any type of problem that any any one of us was having. Yeah! Just want to give you guys a little glimpse of what it's like to drive to the studio every day in the middle of recording our, our CD. And uh, this is kind of what it's like. Every hour of every day of every minute in Philadelphia. That's it. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I got I got a nice sidekick, but don't drink and drive at the same time. Doesn't matter if I just walk away with some things left that I still need to say. These bottles of life remind me of a change that you'll never find a way to embrace. Why are you so holding on to everything you thought was wrong? Why are you so far away from where we should be today? Lyrical content is mostly about um, the experiences that I've had with my friends, with, I mean, especially with you guys and the band and us growing together. And I mean, that's why you have embracing the change. Um, a lot of it's my me growing personally with my family and 
watching the rest of you guys grow as individuals and uh, it's, it's pretty much what it is it's the, the, just writing about all of our uh, our journey together since we've met each other and trying to get that down on paper and then translating it into the music that we wrote don't do your full voice. You're doing your full voice. Don't do your full voice. Right. Do your falsetto. Just like you're doing now. When you're singing in an air, you're trying to do your full voice. Don't right. do your full voice. Okay. This is like all about airy sounding. It's not supposed to be powerful. There you go. That's it. That's it. Just don't, try not to slide it too much. Try to like... Never slide it. Just, yeah. just put it right in. especially the vocals and we were rewriting parts in the studio and it made the songs even bigger and Blaine really did a nice job adapting to those things he did a great job in the studio we we like um and we all you know what I mean like our, just just anything you don't even have to like and you don't even necessarily have to introduce new notes to the to the um, arrangement because you already have so many notes in there it'd be just rearrange the order of some of the notes um, just to change it up once the drums come in with the beat you know and maybe just on we all and that's it you know what I mean you just change the notes on we all and then go back into the make our own choices with the way you were singing it and then in the end do it again so like we all and then in the end because you're starting they're the two they're, that's the first line in each of the phrases right yeah. We all, and then in the end. No, no, in the end's the last uh, word for that verse. Let's see from here. Let me play it from here. It's, uh... Loop it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and then you leave me if I then you loop you that. But I can run like the wind blows. Uh, 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 uh,
working with with this project was when I realized how far we could go with this mix. Um, we really cut some good raw tracks. We spent a lot of time being thorough and made sure that everything that was cut to tape um, was usable and we wouldn't have any regrets with it. Um, I'm proud of everybody's commitment to continue to keep doing this even when there was you know challenges with certain parts where we had to go for accuracy we knew that the final product had to be clean and a lot of people stepped up to the plate I'm proud of all the, the kill shot clan and the uh, cock sword choir too we uh, we brought our, our our biggest fans our closest friends into the studio one day and to help us out on, on rise and uh, they're forever known as the cock sword choir it was a lot of fun it was a bit over the top, <laughs> but it was cool, man. It was cool, man. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In still All right. the night. Is he recording? Brian. I don't know. You want him in? You recording? Get in here. We need an extra voice. Oh. I remember right. I held you tight. Here, the idea is, is we want to get... <laughs> A little bit more narrow, I'm so we'll just get two rows deep. Oh, deep. Come on, man. Rows. What? Two rows deep. Come on, didn't you guys go to school? You didn't get in line, you <laughs> rows? I can't count the two, man. Sorry, I'm going to count the Here. <laughs> Come on, get it. I want it a little bit away, but like the, this angle is like facing down at you. Yeah. How about that one? We are the world. Uh, we are the children. He's going down a little bit, I think. <laughs> we are the boss. <laughs> trying to hand it down. It's just down. It's just Stevie, man. They're just Spanish dudes are freaking the fuck out, dude. Dude, it's songs for the deaf. Yeah. Right? Look at this. All I know is I had my end. That's all I can say. Had is, my end. Let us go. Rise. All right, so wait for the same. Rise. Is that working? You yeah. can't hear them in there, they're just in the headphones or what? Okay. Richard Gear here. <laughs> um, oh, we got more Richard Gear here, yeah. Oh, Rise! 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 Spent all that time, did all that shit, and we actually came away with a product. Like something to listen to. I mean, and that could have went wrong at any time. I mean, we broke up during the recording. It wasn't because of the recording, but we broke up during the recording. So, I mean, I don't know. One of us could have died or something. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, the reward, I guess, is that album. So, that's, that's my album. Oh, man. I don't want to get hit in the face, man. I ain't answering so any questions. <laughs> I'm not, you know, whatever Jay said, man, it was cool. <laughs> uh, my overall feeling about this after it was done was uh, relief, first of all, because we went through so many ups and downs, and you know, so again, another journey and, and trying to grow together. And it, it, the, the outcome was phenomenal. It, I couldn't have thought of anything better. I mean, when we first started out, we decided that we wanted to make this really good and, and something that really defined who we were and I think we accomplished that and then some and Jason and CJ really brought that forth to light. And I, I couldn't uh, dream of being any better than it is. Working with Killshot was quite an experience man. We uh, we had our ups, we had our downs. Um, you know, it was uh, there were a lot of challenges making this record, but I'm proud of everybody that was involved because everybody kept pushing through and we made it work. 
not be any uh, happier with the way this, this album turned out. These songs are, are so, I feel they're so well written and we really brought them out in a good light and um, I could not be any more pleased with it. I, I think it sounds phenomenal and uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to forget this, this experience. What do I think of the final product, embracing the change? Fucking A. As I pull my head from the flame, I look around and begin to see Nothing's what I thought it was as I have wandered aimlessly 